Robert, your little brother Winston just got accepted into med school. Oh, hey, Mom. Yeah, I just heard. Winston told me. I congratulated him. Me, Winston, and your father are going out to a luxury sushi restaurant to celebrate the good news tonight. Um... Obviously, you won't be joining us. All the reviews online said that this is the most luxurious restaurant in town, so it's clearly not appropriate for someone like you. You will, however, be footing the bill, so I expect you to make your way down to 5th Street the moment I message you to let you know we're done eating. When you say the most luxurious restaurant in town, do you mean sushi-licious shenanigans, by any chance? You know, the place famous for being three times as expensive as most other luxury restaurants? Of course. Unlike you, his moronic high school dropout big brother, Winston is intelligent and hardworking. He's by far mine and your father's favorite child, and we intend to reward him for his efforts. You intend to reward him? On my dime? You've got some nerve. I thought you promised to stop doing this once I agreed to cover your debt repayments. I don't see what that has to do with anything. But if you must insist on dragging it up, I think you should be grateful me and your father are granting you the privilege of repaying our debts. Think about it. Now you have a reason to drag your worthless backside out of bed in the morning and go to work. I won't be hearing another word of complaint out of you, boy. Do you hear me? If you know what's good for you, you'll keep your mouth shut and carry on working like a dog to support your beloved family. I see. Hey, B-Pro, is now a good time? Winston? Why are you messaging me we're in the same house, you big doofus? I don't want Mom and Dad to hear what I'm about to say. Really? That was dramatic. Alright, well, fine by me, I guess. Listen, Robert, I'm thinking of giving up on becoming a doctor. Whoa, where in the holy frickin' Jesus balls did that come from? Did I eat magic mushrooms without anyone telling me or something? Why would you do that when you only have a year left before you graduate med school? You're almost done paying off mom and dad's debt, right? Yeah, actually I am. I should be done with the last repayment right around the time you graduate. But why? What does that have to do with anything? It's mom and dad. They told me what their plans are after I graduate and become a doctor. They said they both plan on quitting their jobs and having me provide for them for the rest of their lives. What the heck? And that's only what was actually said to me directly. When I left the room, I overheard them planning a bunch of expensive vacations and to buy tons of crazy expensive branded goods and accessories. House extensions, exotic labradoodles, Vintage whiskeys, gold-plated toilet seat, a Ferrari, you name it, Robert. They're planning on buying it all with my money. I have no idea why they think they have an infallible right to my salary, but there you go. Jesus, bro, what am I even reading? They don't seem to have any idea that it'll still be an intern for at least a few years now that I've left med school, which means I'll be on 40k a year at best. This probably goes without saying, but I'll be making way less than you do, right? Yeah, I guess so. Mom and Dad love to harp on about how being a high school dropout makes me a failure. But it was thanks to that I was able to start working so early. I've been at my company for 15 years now. I'm in an executive position and get an extra allowance for all the qualifications I've acquired over the years. Plus, I have the extra money I make from the side hustle I started seven years ago. Right? That's what I thought. Exactly. That's why I'm so astonished they managed to convince themselves I'm going to be rolling in cash the second I get out of med school. Robert, listen. I want to move out of this house. Wow, are you serious? Are you really surprised? You want to leave yourself, right? They've put you through your fair share of crap too, haven't they? Not least among it forcing you to drop out of high school so you could pay off their gambling debts. And then having the nerve to give you crap for being a high school dropout? Yeah, I guess you're right. The only reason I accepted to take over the repayments is because Uncle Joe was the one who lent him the money. Which means I never had any legal obligation to pay. That's not all. You cover my med school fees too, and I know that can't have come cheap. It's 
Only thanks to you I was able to get in without going into debt myself. You're the one I want to repay my debt of gratitude to, Robert. Not mom and dad. To be honest with you, they make me sick. Being unemployed despite being fully capable of working would be bad enough on its own. But now they're demanding provide for them for the rest of their lives? What am I? Freaking walking ATM? I can't get out of this house a moment too soon. Winston. Come with me, bro. What do you say? I know this might sound weird coming from me after I relied on your money so much. But you have a right to be free of our deranged parents, too. To tell you the truth, I've been thinking about it for a while. Here's how the plan looks right now. I'm thinking of quitting my job at the insurance company and going freelance once I get done with mom and dad's debt repayments. To put it simply, I'm thinking of making my side hustle my main job and focusing solely on that. I see. I guess me graduating med school ties into that too, since you won't be covering my tuition fees anymore. Your outgoings are going to drop down in one full swoop, so you'll be able to make things work with just one job. I like it. Yep, you pretty much nailed it. When I'm a freelancer, I'll be able to go anywhere I like, since I'll be working 100% remotely. Anywhere? Basically, what that means is that no matter which hospital you end up working in, no matter which state you end up moving to, it'll always be possible for me to be close by. Oh yeah, you're right. Obviously, from my perspective, I'd appreciate it if you chose somewhere with decent internet. <laughs> gotcha, bro. We only have about a year left before this becomes a reality. Yeah, let's make the necessary preparations. Got it. Excuse me, Robert. You have one week to get your things together and get out of this house. What the hell? Where did that come from? Your little brother's a rich doctor now, so we don't need your pathetic high school dropout salary anymore. What? What's that supposed to mean? Do I have to spell it out, Dumbo? It means Winston will be looking after me and your dad from here on out, so you're no longer necessary. Get out of our lives and never come back. Winston's going to provide for you both as a medical intern? How the hell do you expect him to do that? That's not fair, my brother. He's about to enter the workforce, and with that, one of the toughest periods of his life will begin. You expect him to take care of you guys at home as well as the mountain of work responsibilities he's inevitably going to end up with? And what do you know about anything, you pitiful high school dropout? It might seem impossible to you because you earn breadcrumbs, but unlike you, Winston's actually going to have a respectable income. He's a doctor, you moron. I quit my job because with Winston's salary, I can get by without working. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say what now? You quit your job? No way. Did Dad quit too? Of course he did. We recently got word that you got done paying off the last of our debts, so what with that and Winston finally becoming a doctor, we saw no need to continue. No matter how you look at it, there's zero need for either of us to work again for the rest of our lives. Hmm. I take it your sulky tone means you understand, then? Fantastic. Now hurry up and start packing your things. Oh, one more thing. Me, Winston, and your father will all be going to the most luxurious sushi restaurant in town to celebrate him finally becoming a doctor. Make sure you come down to the restaurant to pay for our meals as soon as I message you, just like always, okay? Do I make myself clear? Are you for real? You just kicked me out of the house and ordered me to get out of your lives forever. Why would I pay for your sushi? Are you insane? Think of this as your final act of filial piety towards your parents who so very kindly raised you. It'll never make up for the monumental failure you became, but it's better than nothing. Make sure you have the money ready by tonight. Do you mind if I say one last thing? What is it? Bye-bye. I'm taking Winston with me. Huh? Winston, you all ready? Yep, I'm all ready at the station like we agreed. Did mom say anything to you about going out for sushi tonight? Sure, but I told her I can't go today because I have food poisoning. Wow, are they for real? They went to your congratulatory meal at the most expensive restaurant in town without you? No kidding. I'm not going to complain though. 
the rotten personalities are giving us the perfect chance to make our escape. I never thought I'd say it, but just this one time, I'm grateful they're dicks. You're right. I'm so hype, bro. I can't believe I finally get to escape their four sushi nights. About that, my buddy from the old company knows a chef at that restaurant. Apparently, he said that he feels bad for you every time you go because they order the most expensive stuff on the menu for themselves while you just sit there eating french fries all night. Were you holding back because you knew I was always the one paying? There's that, but there's also the fact I'm just not good with raw fish. I thought you knew. What can I say? I guess I really like their french fries. Oh, I see. Anyway, I'm about to head out on the next train. Sure thing. I'll follow you in like an hour, okay? Got it. See you at the next station. Roger that. Robert! Are you there? Robert! What on earth did you just say to the chef at the sushi restaurant? He just told me you refused to pay because I said I never wanted to see you again. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Did you need some kind of explanation? I'm not sure which part is hard to understand. You pretty much just disowned me, so I'll be leaving the house now and moving a long, long way away. Accordingly, paying for your luxury sushi is going to be a little difficult this time around. Anyway, didn't I just tell you to pay for your own damn meals? How are you surprised by any of this? No, I can't. I just can't. Do you have any idea how much the bill came to? Sixteen hundred dollars. Your father and I don't have that kind of money. Yep. Sixteen hundred dollars sounds about normal. That's more or less what I was paying every time. Huh? Isn't it strange? Your worthless good-for-nothing high school dropout son was able to pay every time without issue. But you and dad are struggling? Oh my god. Were you really paying this much every time? I had no idea it was so expensive. Yep. Look on the bright side. At least Winston not being with you today should bring the total down a little. This is actually on the lower end of what I paid. This is the lower end? Robert, how on earth do you have that much money? Answer me this. How long do you think it's been since I started working? What? I've been working nonstop ever since I dropped out of high school. I've had promotions, gained qualifications, undergone transfers, and had lots of other extra allowances added to my salary along the way. When Winston started med school, I started working a side job to help cover his tuition fees. You didn't think I was still making the same money as I was at the convenience store. You didn't think I was still making the same money as I was at the convenience store I worked at when I dropped out of high school, did you? Huh? Now, Winston's done with med school. I'm also done paying off yours and dad's debt, which, by the way, I had no obligation to pay off whatsoever, but did anyway out of the kindness of my heart. I don't need to make anywhere near as much money as I used to now, which is why I decided to quit my job and focus solely on what used to be my side job as a freelancer. What's your side job? Not telling you. I don't need you showing up on my doorstep begging, thanks. Well, what about the bill for this sushi? Like I said, pay for it yourself. But uh, we don't have the money. Bye. Yo, Robert, I'm on the train right now, but I keep getting those damn messages from mom complaining about how you won't pay the sushi bill. Oh my God, is she seriously still harping on about that? I just left her on red. Nice. There's no need to dignify her with a response. Still, I gotta admit, I feel kind of bad for the sushi joint. I think I'm gonna ring my buddy and tell him to pass on an apology later on. Now, don't sweat it. Apparently, Uncle Joe plans on paying this time around. I wonder if he actually will. Don't forget, he was the one who lent... Don't forget, he was the one who lent Mom and Dad all that money back then. I wouldn't be surprised if he never wanted to give him another cent after how long it took him to get his money back. I came clean with everything this morning and finally told him it was me paying him back all along. To be honest, I'd be amazed if he dug them out of another hole after finding out they'd been lying to him for years. Jeez, bro. 
You sure know how to time things. Nice. Pure coincidence, I swear. Sure, we can go with that if you like. Seriously though, I wonder how they're going to support themselves without either of us around now neither of them have jobs. Mom was 19 when they got shotgun married after falling pregnant with you, right? They've got a way to go until they get their pensions. They have no choice. They're going to have to find new jobs. No kidding. Anyway, my train will be arriving soon. Alright. I'm set on the bench at the platform. Let's head out of the station together. Yeah. How cool is this? Two brothers about to embark on their new lives in the big wide world together? I feel like an anime character. Cut it out, you weeb. You're in the real world now. You're right, though. I'm sure we're going to face tons of challenges from here on out, but there's nothing we can't overcome together. Heck yeah. When I asked Uncle Joe about what became of the sushi incident later on, he explained that by some miracle, it turned out that my dad had just enough money left in his savings account to cover it, so they were allowed to leave the restaurant without cops being called. My old work buddy heard from the chef that the two of them are now officially banned from entering the restaurant for the rest of their lives. Apparently, he almost seemed overwhelmed with joy at the fact he'd never have to tolerate them again. As for what happened to our parents after that, they totally forgot I was the one who'd been paying the rent and utilities, which meant that before long, their electricity, gas, and water ended up being totally shut off. Apparently, the landlord's currently in the process of filling out the paperwork to have them forcibly removed. And that's not all either. Being totally out of cash and being too lazy to work, they went into debt again. And this time, not with soft-touch Uncle Joe, but with an underground loan shark who goes by the name of The Finger Snapper. Nobody heard from them after they got disowned by the entire family. Naturally, I have no intention of looking for them either. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.